It's Halloween. A time when monsters, witches, vampires, and spirits roam the land. When you can step out your door and never, ever come back. But Halloween is also a time for stories. Stories that scare. Stories that discover the unknown. Bear with us today and be very, very, very afraid and deep. Are you ready to hear the most horrific story you have ever known? Okay, you ask it for it. It all started on Halloween night of 1866. At the time, Halloween was a pleasing night to ask for candy and tell horror stories to the kids. Everyone loved Halloween in that city, before, until this night. The kids went out of their house with their mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, cousins, brothers or sisters. Everyone could take part in the Halloween party. John loved Halloween very much. He used to listen to horror stories with his seniors too. And then he went house by house asking for candy and chocolate. It seemed like a fantasy, might be it was. Something straight called it John's attention that night. A Georgia's girl was crying in deep, inconsolable, sobs behind a tree. She was strange. She had blue hair and purple light. But John was unable to leave her there and go closer to her. When he was close enough, asked her why she was crying. I've lost my teddy, she answered it. Don't worry, we will find it. I promise it to you. Where did you last see it? The monster had it. The monster doesn't want to return my teddy to me, and I need it. I really need it. Okay, I will recover your teddy for you. Where's the monster? It's here, she said. I don't see anybody here, we're alone. Are you sure the monster is here now? It's everywhere. June started to think the girl was crazy. There wasn't anybody there. What she was saying? Suddenly, a strong wind shook the tree and made a lot of leaves fall off of it. John put his hands before his eyes to protect them. When the wind stopped, John opened his eyes again and the girl wasn't here. But he called her something. You promised it. That was the mysterious girl's voice. But she wasn't already here. John was really afraid now and turned back home. His mom and his sister were already there. And they asked John why he was there so soon. Because John used it to stay out until very late on Halloween night. John only said he was tired and went to his bedroom to sleep a bit. He didn't stop hearing the girl's voice all night. He thought he was going crazy. You promise it. You promise it. The voice didn't stop, and John was more afraid than ever. The next morning, something strange happened at John's house. His sister had a little teddy bear, a bit different from others. It had blue hair and purple light. Suddenly, John remembered the Halloween night girl and her looks. She had the same hair and the same age as John's sister Teddy. John decided then to ask the old folks about what had happened. They knew all the other stories and he was sure some of them could help him. He asked the old man of the city and the man was horrified by the story. It wasn't the first time someone saw that girl. The old man told John that the girl was the old mayor's doctor's spirit. The girl had died 20 years ago under strange circumstances. She was searching for her teddy when she fell into a river and lost her life. There were people that had heard the girl soothing and that had seen how a strange wind swept along the girl into the river. John told the elder that he heard the girl's voice and the man asked him what the boy said. When Joel told him what the boy said, the old man understood all. The spirit was searching for someone alive who would help her to find her teddy 
because she needed it to return to the world of the living. John had promised it to her, so John must find the teddy he wanted his sister to like, because the teddy he had that morning was the girl spirit, who wanted to remind John of his promise. If John didn't keep his word, the spirit's word killed his sister to take her place. John understood the situation and started to search for the teddy everywhere. It was a difficult task because the teddy had been lost for 20 years and nobody had been able to find it before. But John wasn't going to give up and started to investigate upon the disappeared teddy. The teddy was a present for another city's mayor to buffer mayor's doctor. Mysteriously, the doctor of the other city's mayor had drowned her in a river too. John knew that wasn't a coincidence and asked the elder again, now with the extra information about the teddy. The old man gave John a book. This book told the past of Buford when witches lived in the city. For John, the existence of witches had been only a horror story to tell on Halloween night, but now he thought that it could be possible. From what he read in the book, John understood that the teddy was a poisoned present from the witches to the first mayor of Buford, because he had started a war between witches and normal people and he had killed a lot of innocent girls accused of witchcraft and a lot of royal witches. They took revenge on the mayor by giving him a teddy for his doctor, promising peace at the end. But the mayor didn't know that the teddy was cursed and it attracted killer spirits. John knew that his sister was there in danger, because the teddy she had was the cursed teddy and she would certainly die if John didn't return the teddy to the Halloween night girl. He turned back home and took the teddy, then went to the tree where he found the girl for the first time and left the teddy there. He pronounced a spill from the whole book and suddenly the girl appeared. She touched the girl and her hair turned brown and her eyes turned blue. She was more beautiful now. She thanked gone and John and disappeared again. John was Carmen now and he felt a spiritual connection with the city he hadn't ever felt before. So he decided to go out of the city to tell the story to anyone who wanted to hear it. Since that Halloween, nobody goes track or tricking at night in Buford, and there are two who say that the witches have returned to use the city to practice their spells. And you? Will you go to Buford on Halloween night? Maybe you will meet a strange girl there, or maybe you already know her.